So let's go read this line from the book. All right, so Kaidan was Sukoshi Sukoshi Oriru to Achi Katachi no Tonneru ni nari Kawa no sikae to Suzuite iru. The moment I go down the stair a little bit. The tunnel. The 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 forms of it. So our subject here is kind of the kaidan. So even though it does say I go down a little bit and then um, so I am the subject at the first clause, but the second clause, the subject is kaidan. Kaidan wa aachi no tunnel ni nari. The tunnel becomes, the kaidan right. becomes a tunnel. Right. That is in the shape of katachi. It's in the shape of um of an archi. Hi, which is arch in English. That is a basically it's curved on the top object. The arch. So normally it doesn't really have like a bottom. It's just kind of like this. This is the arch. It's like a half circle object. Um in the shape of an arch. Hi. Okay, so um kawano shikae shika or ka uh she ta shita to suzuite and it's right. continue flow the river perfect do you have any guesses why we have nadi here rather than natte Why is it not in not not that? Um, there's no causation here. They yeah, just there's none. After another. Perfect. Yep. And we're kind of just like describing something, right? We're just describing the tunnel. The tunnel, the arch become sorry, the the stairs become a tunnel and it continues through the river. So perfect. Yep. There's no real causation going on in that sentence. Um, do you remember how to read this word? Nai, something secrets. Oh, so it's Nai uh, Shinobi. Good guess. Shinobi is actually more about doing sneaking and keeping secrets. This is Nai Mitsu. So this kanji right here is Mitsu, which has a roof and then like heart with a line through it and a mountain. Mitsu. Nai Mitsu. Hi. And it shows up in this word. Can you read it for me? Himitsu. Does that word sound familiar? Himitsu. Secrecy. So, so. Well, theoretically, it's like secret. Secrecy is like, was the word we saw in the brief word, like to keep it a secret. That was naimitsu. Versus himitsu is a secret. So it ended with Mitsu. Do you know what it started with? He. Perfect. Can you read this, sen this yes. sentence for me? So it no tunnel. It is a secret tunnel. Perfect. Um, can you read what's in the bold for me and tell me what it means? Where metal no chu on. Nagareru Kawa no Chu Chu 
What is this? Chu. Nakasu. Nakasu. Um, the river, the sandbar. Hi. Mm. Um, river island. Nitatsu. Nitatsu. Um, and then something to do with the mansions. Hi. Teitaku. You forgot the subject, which was yasuragi te wa. So this is describing yasuragi te. And we have a de right here, which is um the te form of da, right? Which is the te form of nouns. But you can just, this da is perfect for ending this. So yasuragi te wa wurumet no chuo nagareru nagareru kawa no nakasu ni tatsu um, teitaku. What is yasuragi te? The, the tranquil street or the quiet streets. Mm -hmm. What kind of building is it? The building referred to a mansions. Mm, yeah, some kind of estate. Where is that estate? Where does it stand? Do you know? Where is it built? It's it tatsu on the nakatsu. Hi. On the river islands. Where are these river islands located? River island in the middle. No, it's in the river. It's no kawa. It's it's off the river. It's kawa no. Hi, kawa no nakasu. So we have river islands in the river. That is where Tasaragi Day was built. What else do we know about this river, though? Where is this river? This river is. No, it's Nageru, Nageru, or Chuo. It flows through the middle of Wermeto. Perfect. It flows through the heart of Wermeto. Can you read this word for me? So, Nageru. Right, and this is a new verb. This is to leak something or to connect something. So, Nageru. And do you know how to read this word that ends with Mitsu? And with Mitsu, start with he. Hi, hi, perfect. What is the ta form of tsunageru? To link, to connect. Tsuna. Tsunageru. Ta form. Or ta form, whatever. Ta form, tsunageta. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Nakasu doji, doshi. Perfect. Doshi is a word that basically means fellows. So nakasu doshi means fellow river islands. So it's fellow in English feels more like you have to be people, but that's not how it works in Japanese. It just means these islands are all basically like the same, like they're they're the same kind of thing. They're all in the same river. They're all, you know, river islands, that kind of idea. So, for example, you might see doshi referring to, like, your fellow co-workers or your fellow classmates. And when you have a group, basically, some kind of group of items would be doshi. And it's going to be described by something else, which it is a group of nakasu. So, a group of river islands. So, let's go read the line from the book. なかせ。そっか。このトノルは川の中すどしをつなげてる秘密のトノルだ。はい。It is a secret tunnel that nagareteiru. んつなげている? Uh, that connects. It's a, it's a secret tunnel that connects the the uh, these the small islands. Let's just call it that. The little river islands. Um, with uh, with the secret um. Yeah, yeah. It's it's connect. The various river inlets Hi. together. Yes. 
Perfect. Yep. I get it. So this tunnel, it is a secret tunnel that connects between the different islands. Perfect. Throw in between in there. English is silly. Um, remember to read this word. Medat, medata. Hi, medata nai. From medatsu. Perfect, perfect. And do you remember what hikizuru meant? Hikizuru, hikizuri nagara. Hikizuru nagara. Kaban o hikizuri nagara. How about to drag it along? Perfect. To drag it heavily. How about this word? Um, the word is um, Ida. Perfect. This is a gap or some kind of spacing thing. And last question What does Ote mean? Ote mm -hmm. is um, to chase. Perfect. Uh, Nama, which has a kanji for ikiru in it, ikiru, which is to live or umaru to be born. Nama is used to refer to something that is raw. Nama, so uncooked meat. Hi. Or perhaps blood. Nama. Hi. Do you know what kusai means? Um, this is an adjective meaning Hi. either is a bad smell or is a smell. It is a bad smell. A um, nioi is the neutral one that could be a bad smell or a good smell. But sight means it stinks. Sight stinks. Nioi, interestingly, is a noun, whereas mm. kusai is an adjective. Interesting. You're right. So in so we get the word nama and we add kusai to it. Since these both can be seen on its own as raw and stinky, kusai gets the rendaku as gu, nama gusai, which means smelling fishy or smelling raw or smelling of blood. Because, you know, fish are uncooked. So that's, that's where the smelling fishy comes from. Nama gusai. So it smells bad. And it smells uncooked. Um, can you read Hi. this for me? Um, okay, so it's Himitsu no Tonora wa Nama Kusai Kusai. The secret tunnel smell like raw sewage. Yeah. Probably. Um, can you read this for me? I nama aka wa o um kurai kurai kuraku chime chime shite ite nama kurai kuzai nama kuzai kuzai. Hi, jime jime is damp. 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 So it's damp and it smell like raw. Hi. And what else is it? Uh naka wa kurai. It's the inside is dark. Hi. The inside is dark, damp, and smells gross. Um, remember how to read this guy? Mm, I forgot. You know it in context. This is ya, then shiki. Yashiki. Hi. Just without context, yeah. things could get harder. So, ya is room. And shiki, this is the word that means um for something to be covered. But not like covering something with a blanket. It's more like, for example, like a carpet that spreads across the floor. Or maybe moss spreading across something. So, carpet is actually shikimono. Is one of the ways you can say carpet. Shiki, uh, mono. Because mono is thing and shiki is thing that spreads. But it's not like putting a blanket over you. Whatever it's like spreading should kind of be like stationary, I guess. It's not hiding anything if you're using shiki. So a room that spreads is an estate. So 
like a house that is spreading somewhere. Kind of where that word comes from. So I was focusing now on that. So you can see the word shiku, which is a verb that means to spread. Shiku. Um, right. You read that earlier, so we'll skip that. What was spread in Japanese again? To spread something? Something moving to spreading? Shiku. Hi, hi, shiku. What is the stem form of shiku? Sometimes called mas, minus mas form. Stem is shiki. Perfect. Um, mm. Ita is a word that refers to some kind of like board or plank. Anything that is like squarish can be an ita. Um, and it shows up in this word. So this guy, as you can see, it's not called ita anymore. It's being called ban. So these two are married, right? They changed their names. So what do you think? How do you think you'd read this word? Uh, it's ishi, ban. Ishi is how rock is read when it's not married. So why would the rock be single, but the ban be married? Oh, hmm. is the, the rakuten, the... Um, In this case, it'd be seki. For example, mado seki. I got it mixed up. I, I'm thinking the ban is somehow the oh. voicing for the Han or something. That like was that. a good that that's a good guess. But no, that kanji right there is ita. Ita is a word that can mean like board or plank. Tends to be some kind of like rectangular flattish object. Um, for example, graves can are kind of like itas. Um yeah, some kind of like flattish object, some kind of like a plate of glass or something. So ita, when it's over here, it's pronounced as ban. So it means these two are married. So this guy right here is seki then. Seki ban. Seki ban. So it starts with seki. What did it end with? Ban. So, so perfect. Oh, Can you read this word for me? Shiki, smeru. Perfect. To spread out. The... Yeah. To spread and smeru is like cramp, like the cram things on something, like paper normally. So it means to cover a surface, like probably like completely. Shiki tsumeru. What is the passive form of shiki tsumeru? Rather than to cover, it is to be covered. Passive form to be cover. So it added it. Added it. Passive. So it's rated. Suki tsumerade. Perfect, perfect. And this word started with seki. What did it end with? Ban. Perfect, perfect. And can you read the sentence for me? Um, yuka wa shiki tsumerareta sekiban, the stone slab that was cover up uh, the floor. Yeah, so yes, exactly. On the floor. Yes. There's, there's a, a stone slab yep, that was covered up. Covered up. Hi. Yep. Um... And that is where we're going to stop for the day, I think. Unless, oh, never mind. Only one more word. So, nureru is to be damp. Damp. It's a really nice kanji with water and rain, but sadly, this book doesn't use the kanji. Nureru is a ru verb. Um. Hi. So let's go read the sentence. Um, Sekiban ga shiki tsumerare ta yuka wa nurete iru. So here, nurete iru is ah, uh, what is nurete iru? Kind of like that. Is our la It's a uh... To be dime dime. 
to be rain, wet. to get wet. Hi. Be wet. So floor was wet. Hi. The the floor that was um covered up. By what? Um, by the, so the stone slab covered up the floor. Yeah, some kind of stone slab. It should be noted in Japanese that plurality is not, is like insinuated by context. So it's quite possible there's multiple stone slabs, kind of like, um, like a cobbled stone, like path, like you get a bunch of square rocks, right? And you cover the whole floor of it, right? Kind of like tile, I guess. In this context would be my, that's what I would imagine with the, this rather than being one long stone slab, which is theoretically possible, but my assumption would be more like tile. Um, 